It's spring and Murray, my bigger cat, he is just shedding like crazy. These are five new remedies you can try and you should stick around for the end because we're making a cat anti-shedding spray. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm having a brand new webinar next week on cats. What to feed your cat, what not to feed your cat, and the most important natural remedies that you can be using now to help your cat at home. You can click the link in the box below to sign up. Murray is just like covering our house in hair. Like check this out. One little brush with his like grooming brush. And he's like, yeah, there's almost like another cat here. Shedding is completely normal. Typically you see more of it in the spring, but it's all part of normal hair growth. Hair grows, it reaches at the end of its life cycle, it falls out. If the shedding is excessive, your cat could have something underlying. There may be a dietary deficiency. Your cat may need additional essential fatty acids. Your cat may have an underlying allergy. It may be a metabolic disease. Perhaps your cat is hyperthyroid. Your cat could have a skin condition such as ringworm, or it just could be really stress, anxiety. And before I talk about any of these remedies, go get yourself a good cat de-shedding brush. These are my top natural remedies that you can use to help your shedding cat. And stick around to the end because number five is my anti-cat shedding spray recipe. Number one, diet. Get your cat on a better quality food. Get off of any type of dry kibble, especially something like this. Get your cat on at the very least a quality canned food like this, this one here from Instinct. It's providing adequate protein, which is what your cat needs to have great quality hair. He's gonna shed less. Secondarily, it gives additional moisture and your cat needs this additional moisture to have a healthy skin, to have a healthy hair coat. Number two, the super essential fatty acids. Of all the different supplements you're gonna give, the essential fatty acids, they've been studied the most and been proven to be most beneficial for hair quality. You're gonna have less shedding if your cat is on a good quality essential fatty acid. I prefer krill oil, it's got a better EPA DHA, that's the anti-inflammatory fatty acid profile. Krill is essentially free of toxins as opposed to many of the fish oils, which are often contaminated with mercury. A standard krill oil dose, 500 milligrams once a day, just break this open, drizzle it onto your cat's food. Number three, coconut oil. Coconut oil is made up of many fatty acids, including lauric acid, mysteric acid. It's been shown to be a really beneficial antimicrobial. The oil can improve hydration in the skin and ultimately improving hair quality, meaning less shedding. You can give your cat a quarter of a teaspoon twice a day. You can do that for a month and see if that's helping your shedding cat. If you're excessively shedding cat, he could have anxiety. And anxious cats, they shed far more. A real good option to decrease your cat's anxiety is CBD cannabis oil. We're looking at doses of three milligrams for 10 pounds of body weight daily. My supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate CBD for dogs and cats. There are other anti-anxiety options, feel away spray, L-theanine. But last but not least, we're making a home anti-shedding spray. Number one, our handy dandy spray bottle. We're starting out with water, one half a cup. Number two, aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is safe for cats so long as it's including the gel, that's the inner part of the leaf, and it's excluding the latex, that's the yellow external part of the leaf. This is clearly aloe vera gel inner fillet. It's the inner part of the leaf. We're using four tablespoons. The third part of our spray, it is liquid coconut oil. Coconut oil is shown to be the best absorbed of all the oils. It actually gets absorbed into the hair shaft meaning you're gonna have less shedding. For our spray concoction, we're gonna be adding in two tablespoons, Murray. Add this to your spray bottle. Give it a good shake to mix it up well. And then sort of lightly mist your cat. <laughs> Murray thinks I'm spraying with water. It's okay, Murray. I've just lightly misted you. Then use your brush to just gently spread it through your cat. You're gonna find, especially with that coconut oil, it makes it a lot easier to spread it around the fur. And Murray, your hair really does feel better. The small amount that you've just sprayed on can be completely fine for Murray to groom himself with. Okay, Murray, go ahead, you know, do that for a week and just see if that's being beneficial or not. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. Murray is quite happy it's over. Before you go, I encourage you to sign up for my brand new webinar. It's on cat health and nutrition what to feed your cat, what not to feed your cat, and the most important natural remedies that you can be using now to help your cat at home. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.